Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we're in the Rock Full of Brains, a collection of asteroids out in the wilds of space. Untold possibilities are within our reach, and today I want to explore the possibilities to do with this little chlorine vent down here. It's a building that we have been ignoring for a great amount of time now because I didn't really know what to do with it, but now, now that I actually have an inkling of what I want to do, it is time to strike. It's time to do the things we want to do. Over on Blagolia, there is a creature, a little creature known as a squeaky puff. It can eat chlorine, which is what that, that geyser produces, uh, and produces bleach stone. Uh, bleach stone is something that doesn't actually occur um, renewably in the world. You can dig it up some of it from around these uh, chlorine geysers, but there's uh, once you've got that, that is it. You are done. You have used all of your uh, bleach stone there's a lot of places where i like to use it such as these water purification centers over here and you can see i'm starting to run a little low on chlorine some of it has escaped over time just drifted away uh, and ended up in in weird places around my base uh, now is the time to uh, to try and correct that to try and get some sort of system in place where we can renew any and all chlorine that we need It'll also be really helpful for like storing stuff in rockets uh, you don't always have to send your duplicates along so maybe a chlorine atmosphere to keep some food nice and fresh I, yeah I think we could do a whole bunch of stuff with these uh, thankfully on Pyaxlene here we have the uh, the absolute cream of the crop when it comes to builders and makers so this really shouldn't take long at all Blagolia unfortunately not known for its um, motivated workforce I mean to be fair they live in a polluted hellhole I can actually understand why they don't want to move as hard as possible indeed they just generally like to stay up in this corner over here that's fine that's fine it does mean that it's going to be a little bit hard to send the uh the pufflet eggs through this system and uh, send it on its way. We have also on reversing been receiving some packets from Blagolia. This place was um this place has been turning over critters for a little while and reversing we can take the eggshell that we are firing over crush it down into lime in our rock crusher and produce steel from it so we, we definitely need to get that up and running as well as the fact as well as the fact that we actually look to be running a little bit low on the magma over here so if we could do something about fixing that as well that would also be um, very very handy very handy indeed Okay, new day, new start. First thing we do is to break the seal. Somehow the water mechanics are working in our fa favor here. I really thought we were just about to see a giant flood come across all of this area, but turns out no, we can actually just rely on Curie's magic that 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 was that was actually amazing she has run away and decided she doesn't want to do any more work here though that's a uh, interesting choice maybe, maybe maxwell can help nope no no he can't okay one of the things that i've been meaning to do for a little while is take control of the magma over here let's try building a couple of tiles and see what happens i should imagine we're going to get some igneous rock which might be a problem, which might be a problem. We're going to build some mag uh, some obsidian, oh look, yeah, 54 degrees. I mean, maybe if we build, oh, that's abyssalite, though, we're not. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're definitely going to be making some super hot rock there. And we have to make sure that nobody brings it back the other way. I'm not sure how we're going to do that, because of course these guys want to eat the igneous rock for all they are worth. Okay, maybe we can use the tile over here instead. That might be a way to use it or use the materials in the tile instead that might be a way of doing it ball seems to be the only one oh of course because there's only one suit here that makes sense and now plank is immediately on it okay let's let's follow this uh, this thread of possibility through here I'm, I'm actually really worried that we're about to have a breach of some description Okay, Plank's made his way up. Not loving the fact that he's standing inside the lava. Okay, so then it flows over the side. So far, so good. As I thought it might do. Okay, there we go. There's the igneous rock. Chilling down very quickly, but uh, I could see it being troublesome. I could see it being troublesome. Let's go igneous rock here and pl plop those down like that. Yeah, look, Hubble's already on the ranching supply. Let's just run him all the way over here and then pause and unpause the game a couple of times so that we can get a good idea of how much igneous rock there actually is here 163 okay that that's 
taking the uh, the tile into account. Now there's even more. Wait, did I thought we made that out of obsidian? How did that melt? Maybe I didn't make it out of obsidian. I sure I sure meant to though. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to do something minorly uh, unethical. I'm gonna try and catch Boar over the ladder here, and then go. Hey, could you just move over here and get him to drop? Ah, he, he dropped it there. That's unfortunate. I want I want him to drop the the la the igneous rock in the lava down here maybe we can i don't know if we can melt it but we can definitely do something to stop the duplicates getting it okay there it goes i mean that's a good start not ideal though is it and he's about to go through oh my dude no please okay let's just move him over here and hopefully the igneous rock's gonna get left behind somewhere yeah someone's gonna come and get this though this is a problem this is a big problem all I can do is try and use all the building materials, right? What what else could I possibly do? Okay, so that that's that's all of them, and uh, we'll we'll just make this the highest priority possible. This has suddenly turned into a lot of lot of conflict that I was not expecting. This could go very very wrong, very very quickly. Uh, the main problem is if we take the super hot igneous rock, go go up, will you, Hubble? Oh man past these two blobs of petroleum one they're going to turn into sour gas because the rock is too hot but two we could lose our vacuum seal that we have here and that that is even worse oh hubble we might already be too late we might already be too late move him up there okay i mean it's been dropped I, I i don't know what i can do here i don't know what i can do all i can do is keep moving him around and hoping that's good enough no, I see. Hubble's not permitted to build. That's why he's not doing it. Okay, let's run him all the way out. And then someone else can take his place with the suit, right? That 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 should do it. And then someone else who comes in here should be able to uh, use the materials. Okay, this has turned into another race against Rutherford as we just try and move all the new igneous rock we've built. Uh, we created, sorry, elsewhere. I, I guess this this is it. This is my life for a little bit now. What 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 else am I gonna do? I can't I can't let them go elsewhere. Okay, as far as I can tell, all the igneous rock is currently in magma. That's far far too hot for it to. Ah, uh, dang. Uh, well, the stuff down here is an igneous rock that's far, far too hot to exist in. So all we need to do is really keep Rutherford uh, away from this stuff, or uh, anyone away from this stuff until it gets hot enough to melt. Uh, that shouldn't be too difficult to do as long as Rutherford now picks that up. Is it the entire lot? Okay, we're going to wait until he stands on this second ladder here. And we're going to move you back. And there we go. All of it. No, Rutherford. And now we're going to move you out of there and turn the exosuit dock off. Is that all the materials dropped? I think that's all the materials dropped. He's not carrying any. No, that's good. Uh, and as soon as he's through, we're going to disable the building. So Someone can disable this. Okay, so I dropped the atmospheric suit on the floor and not, have not told it to re-deliver. So now uh, Boar cannot make his way up and past there. And we just need to watch this rock uh, pick up some temperature. Melting point is 1400 and it is in 1500 surround. So it shouldn't take too long to happen at all. Well, until that melts, we're kind of stuck at a little bit of an impasse right here. Let's go and have a look at what's going on on Pyax then. Okay, this is uh, flooded just a little bit. We kind of expected that. I'm not sure what's going to happen if I mop this as it's connected to that polluted water there. Bad things could happen, but I think we will live. What I need to do now is to get in there and, I mean, one, try and clear out all the liquids here. Let's just open this up underneath and see if maybe that will be uh, somewhere for all the liquids to flow. As we are dormant at the moment it's also a good time to get in there and and, and analyze this area but we're gonna need plank we are gonna need plank and as plank can't do much over here right now let's send him forth shall we he's down at there at the moment was taking part in the kitchen processes very nice of him uh, all right let's get ready to teleport away you go plank we need you all the way over here where is he we could probably watch him arrive uh, if i had actually stayed watching plank we would have been sent over uh, camera wise to here anyway all right plank welcome or are you the weird third incarnation of plank are you even the same creature that walked in there who knows who knows we're managing to not spill too much liquid like this this is good now oh, the uh, bleach stone has uh, managed to outgas though and 
caused a little bit of a problem. It's all right, we'll, we'll just make a small gas lock here. All the chlorine should get caught at the bottom and this top bit should be filled with oxygen. So that, that should all work out. That is, of course, if the whole thing doesn't end up just flooded. That, that, that would also work. <laughs> oh man, what is... What has happened here? Uh, I was uh, dealing with the chlorine box up here. 10 by 10 minus a few blocks should give us the 96 we need for a maximum size stable. Uh, of course, we'll be keeping some uh, puffs in here. Maybe we'll knock this through, put some airflow tiles on the side, then we can have two puffed ranches if need be. But then I noticed that the uh, the oil had been continuing to flow up here. Now this this is not how it should be. This is not how it should be at all. It should have settled down because this hydro sensor is covered by covered by petroleum. It should say, hey, no, no, don't pump anymore. And it, at no point should more have been pumped up. We were in a stable situation where we only had three bits of uh, crude oil there. I'm now going to have to go in there and try and sweep the whole lot out and i don't know from there like why do we even have chlorine uh sorry water here that that water i i feel like i know comes from here somehow but it's, they're all insulated pipes i can only assume the temperature is just spilling in somehow might need to uh think about how we can reroute these pipes maybe so other than this little mishap, which I think we're going to be able to get on top of pretty easily. The build's going on quite well over here, but we have to wonder where on earth are all of these the puffs that we've been asking for. I, I really would have expected a few of them to be delivered by now, and I've not seen a single one. Coming over to Beglolia, nothing's moved over here for a long time. Look, 19, we've even got more eggshell being delivered. So uh, what I've done... Yeah, look, the power's just died. That's that's bad. Why, why has our power just died? So we've got enough in the battery over here to see us through, but I think we've got a problem with the amount of gas that is being shipped. Yeah, look at this. This this is a big, big problem over here. Maybe we actually are going to end up needing to uh, send a rocket. As it is, this would be the place where we need to uh, to figure out how to be a staging post before we go on to Irrigal. So so maybe... Oh, look, there goes one. Unreachable uh, flight to Blagolia. Th so this this is it. This is it. We've, what have we got in there? Plastic. No, that's not it. <laughs> no, we'd want one going the other way. Sorry, I got excited there when I just saw it. We want one going from Blagolia to Pyaxlin. I mean, the delivery of, pl of plastic is, is cool, but that's, that's not what we want. Okay, I've put down an automatic dispenser for all the puff eggs that are going to arrive. But whilst we're here, let's have a... Yes, it's all melted. So we can uh, start going, hey, can you deliver some suit here? And maybe we can uh, get this get this show back on the road, trying to, trying to claim some space here so we can get our way up to the surface. I think maybe trying to dig out this one right here might be a winner. Okay, here comes a sparkle streak in Rutherford to dig the obsidian out. I'm wondering how he's going to escape from that area when the uh, the magma starts falling down. I suppose that's his problem rather than mine, though. Okay, so a little bit falls, and I'm, what I'm actually interested in is how much of this is going to, uh, to, to disappear itself. How much drainage is going to happen? Doesn't look like a great deal. Let's have a look over here. How much is leaving here? I don't know where it's leaving from. There's definitely some leaving. We can see it going down into the copper. That's that's not quite what we want. But you can see it's also filling up the uh, the magma chamber over here. So it's definitely... Oh, there we go. That's where it's being pulled from. Down these tile edges here. Okay, very, very, very interesting. Talking of very interesting, we've got a bit of a problem boiling over right now. And I don't actually know what's going to happen. Uh, the more observant of you might have noticed that I've dropped back in time a bit. Actually, I'm not sure if I've dropped back in time. Oh, I have. Look. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. There's a chlorine problem over here. We've been putting bleach stone in this. This isn't the problem I wanted to talk to you guys about, but now now we're here. Let's, uh, let's sweep that away. Uh, the problem I wanted to talk to you guys about was the water that we seem to have floating on top of our crude oil. Uh, wouldn't be a problem if it wasn't for the fact that we are actually touching some very hot petroleum down here. So let's, uh, before we do anything, get that built and ready to go there. But the, the water here is going to cause us some troubles. And I also believe that over here we're going to run into some troubles as well. Actually, this isn't going too bad. The insulated pipe in the background here, uh, that's gas pipe I wanted. Is there water pipe there? This water pipe here has been carrying, I say water pipe, has been carrying some very hot petroleum up and out with it. And I'm slightly worried that this is a place where we're going to, to, to see some problems, to see some problems. Indeed, here. 
here goes a lot of very hot oil being dumped into the area. Of course, the oil it does have to be got out of here. Uh, we were not meant to have oil down below. And uh, Franklin and Crap plank coming along to do the builds so that should hopefully isolate this 150 degree temperature from this uh, 100 degree temperature i would really like to get this down back below 100 it was only about 98 whilst we were doing stuff and 98 is fine 98 doesn't turn water into steam but the 103 that this is or 110 that this oil well is that does turn stuff into steam and i'm a little bit worried and i don't know how we're going to deal with it i'm more worried about this water here than anything else how am i going to put some maybe some of this crude oil down we can we can probably sweep this area here mop this area here we can then see that there is a gas uh lock going on there okay the, so night time has been called and i do know sometime over this night is when things go very very wrong and i'm not sure how to fix it i'm gonna i'm gonna start by removing the water from here i've got a feeling that's one of the places that causes trouble i'd like to drop some other liquids down instead in fact if we come along and go plumbing bottle empty drop that there i'm gonna to drop some more crude oil down on top of it make a better lock uh, and see whether doing this has stopped the steam appearing that 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 really has been causing me some trouble the drainage is working rather well, by the way. I thought, I thought I'd come and have a look uh, to the point where I'm a little bit worried about it backing up. But I don't, I don't think that's going to be a, a problem for us. I also would like to get some, uh, some tiles built in here. But I guess we're going to have to hold on to that for now. We've got a whole bunch of obsidian and our igneous rock. Our igneous tiles that we uh, were trying to get melted indeed have done so. So that's pretty good. I'm probably going to have to do the same with these two. Move these down here and let them melt down in the magma chamber oh no uh whatever has happened has happened why, why why did i go anywhere else why didn't i just stay here and watch look we've got some water on top of here it's this water here that's that's done something whatever it did i've got a feeling oh, oh we've got a whole bunch of chlorine coming out at 45 degrees that's that's not what i think caused the problem though i've got a feeling we have picked up some petroleum and it has been pumped back up and out of here and the water that was there probably ended up okay well oh uh, man how do we deal with this uh i guess we're gonna get some the mesh tiles down and do some is that mesh tile that's not mesh tile as i was saying get some mesh tile down and do some uh, fairly high priority mopping i th i think that might be a thing we need to do yeah look uh, we just mopped all the water and now wait has that has that swapped out my my lock here it has oh Oh, that's bad. If uh, if these reach 100 degrees, which it could very do. We're pumping hot gases past it. If it reaches 100 degrees and all of these liquids disappear, oh man, that then then all of the gases from out here will pump back in. We'll just flow back in. Oh man, oh no, I'm not about this at all. Oh, now there's water in the steam system. Oh no, uh, water in the oil system. Oh, this is, this is so bad. <laughs> Wait, now there's carbon dioxide in there as well. What is going on with this place? Things are just suddenly doing all sorts of weird stuff that I never accept. Why carbon dioxide? How has that got in there? Okay, having dropped down some crude oil from the top here, and in fact, I think I'd really like some more to be dropped down from the top. Franklin is on it. Beautiful. Uh, we can definitely keep this seal up and uh, hopefully secure. Need to get these last bits of water out here, and we desperately have to pump these steams out there of course taking the majority of the heat from the top of this oil this oil is never meant to see anything that will transfer heat so we're going to get some very very hot gases being pumped out of here i don't know when that's going to become a problem but i can guarantee it will be a problem at some point I really just don't understand how the carbon dioxide got in there. That That's the bit that's really confused me. Okay, we're finally at the point where I feel comfortable turning this particular alarm off. It's been quite the struggle trying to get enough uh, crude oil down here so that uh, all of the gases... Every now and then steam will get passed through here and then this will condense in this pipe here, causing all sorts of headaches as the water that tries to spill out of the pipe uh, pushes all of the crude oil out of the way. I've gone and got literally 
all of the crude oil that had spilled over into this extra area, got it into this bottle emptier, dumped it down below. We're nearly at the point of having a full tile. Let's have a look. 880 uh, grams is the full tile. We're at 520 at the moment. I would actually like this to carry on going for just a little bit longer as well, if at all possible. I'm not sure how much we've got down here. I mean, it's literally like there's a kilo, there's a few grams. Okay, so like, we should be able to get a bit more in there, but not anywhere near as much as I would like, unfortunately. Anyway, we are also pumping out all of the steam. If we have a look at the gases, the carbon dioxide is pretty much down into micrograms everywhere. I like that a lot. And up here, the steam is doing similar 200 micrograms in some places, which is quite a lot. But it shouldn't take too much longer to uh, to pump all of this out, as we've got all four, mm, all four most of the time pumps working at it. And of course, this mixture of gases does prove to be a little bit challenging. It's not even close to what I wanted to do today. Look, look, we got the chlorine box up and running. Ah. So I'm a little bit worried about the fact that we've only been pumping uh, crude oil out of here for a little while now. If we go up and have a look at our petroleum supply, this little line coming here, it goes into this liquid reservoir, which has got less than a thousand kilograms stored in it. Now, we've only had five to get going with, so that that means that we've, we're through, you know, a fifth of, uh, sorry, four fifths of our... Uh, what are you doing there, Curie? Of our reserves. Oh, I know what you were doing. Yeah, putting down a whole bunch of petroleum. How is the petroleum floating on top of steam? Wait, what? what's going It's not petroleum gas, it's petroleum liquid. What on earth? Also, why have we now got water 71 degrees down here? There, there should be nothing at 71 degrees. It should all be like several hundred degrees here. But my plan is to em empty out all of these uh, petroleums here so that we can start getting a little bit of a consistent flow of liquids again. Some point very very soon, this hydro sensor is going to become uncovered. All of this crude oil is going to uh, drip along like this, get picked up, and then that will become uncovered. And uh, it will start the heating process again. And I'm a little bit worried about that. I'm, I'm pretty majorly worried about that. If it, if it happens before all the steam gets pumped out, we, we could be in some troubles. Wait, the steam just... Just uh, look, it happened again. It's it's eating my petroleum. Okay, well we won't be emptying any more of this out until it all gets pumped out, and that feels like it's gonna take a while. Let's put another pump all the way over here. We know this is something that helped us out last time, so let's try it again. Oh no, my pump is so cold that it's condensing the water, and we can't. Oh. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's, that's a bit of a problem. It's not uh, detecting any gas anywhere, so it's just like, nope, I can't pump anything. Despite the fact that the gas is like 300 degrees next to it, 40 degrees still just will not warm up. I mean, this is both a big problem and not a problem at the same time. I, I kind of just wanted this to get pumped out pretty quickly, but these guys are doing the job. Oh no. Oh no, we got we got some crude oil being pumped. We're not ready for this. We are not ready for this. Quick, I've, I've, got, a, I've got an on-off switch specifically for this situation. Especially as my volcano's dormant for the next five five cycles. Yeah, we're, we're super not ready for this. But whilst we watch the steam drain out of my petroleum boiler, I would like to take this moment right here and thank the people who keep my boiler in check. That's right, my Patreons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the people that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to help me and my channel carry on into the future. It really helps when I have to make decisions about what takes priority in my life and you guys make sure this takes a priority. So from the very, very bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you so much. And I think we're out of power. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we are definitely out of power here. Is someone going to crank a handle? I have asked for little bits of petroleum, uh, sorry, crude oil to get delivered up here, but it looks like I may have asked for a little bit too late. Too little too late, as they say. Uh, and we've got none to go down there. So we're going to have to wait for the morning. With the morning brings the sun and uh, a whole bunch of solar power that I've got up here. And that should help this little uh, petroleum generator over here kickstart itself back into being... I mean, I sure do hope so. Anyway, else we're going to have a lot more troubles than uh, than just having a bit of steam everywhere. Steam is condensing. I kind of wish it wouldn't. <laughs> Another thing that I'm doing over here, as one of the problems was having steam dragged through our little airlock, what I'm going to do is to break this right here. Okay, so that, that should work for us. Now there will be no steam being taken through the area where our crude oil gets dropped off, and thus no water there. That that would be ideal. Have we got any uh, any gases making their way into here yet? Not yet. Oh, that, that was... 
The, the, the system's trying to start up. The system is trying to start up, but it's okay. We, we've got other systems that need to start up first. All right, we could spend all episode staring at this, and uh, in the past I probably would have, but right now it's just going to take far, far too long, and we're trying to do something else. Right now we're trying to get our puff farm up and running. And you know what? Yeah, Plank, you, you go in there. I think it's time for us to start taking care of this. We've asked for some cooked seafood. No, no, that's not going to do well here. We, in fact, want a little bit of barbecue being delivered over this way. Hopefully this now means that a whole bunch of people, yeah, are going to start delivering enough food for uh, Plank to go along to Blue. Golia. We're going to pick up all the puffed eggs we can find lying around and then ship them back. We're literally just going to fly super manual. Super, super manual. Uh, now, let's see if I can remember how we go about refilling the uh, the fuel tank here. I should have somewhere this pump and this pump will be connected to this switch. Okay, great. Let's uh, throw that and get this uh, pumping. Uh, of course, all of the gas comes out of here. The uh, the steam, that is, comes out of here and gets passed up into this, uh, this fuel tank over here. A little bit worried that we might one day run out, but I see that we've got the liquid shutoff valve, which means that when we run out of, power, of uh, pressure, probably said by this little valve here, uh, this valve will turn on and put it over. This sensor, sorry, and this valve. We'll send across some more water, uh, replenishing the atmosphere in there. Okay, that's beautiful. That's exactly what we want. Why are you telling me you've got an empty pipe? No, I think... I think that's doing fine. All right, so with this filling back up, we're gonna have to wait for the food. There is Curie. Great. That, that that's great. This means that we uh, will be ready to go momentarily over on Blagolia, where we're going to be landing. This little uh, rocket pad here is where we're coming to, and I have noticed that actually we are getting rid of oxygen when we could be making great use of it. So I'm gonna grab this gas filter here. Uh, yeah, let's just throw it down. I would obviously, ideally, love it to be in line with this pipe but uh, given that we can't do that I'm going to throw it here and we're going to uh, reroute the pipe divert the pipe if we can maybe even do one of those and then all of the oxygen that we filter out can come up and go into that rocket port there okay who's scolding why are you scolding plank is scolding I think that's okay how, what, how are we scolding yeah, I, I, I don't I don't see and more the point where why is this oxygen mask here? Oh, no think things have gone wrong They're not incredibly wrong. I just need to ask the oxygen doc to uh, to get its oxygen mask Redelivered. Yeah, I think I think that's it Someone must have come out round over the top and back down and dropped all the stuff here I bet it was uh, plank who had the oxygen mask came walking through this way didn't need the exosuit because he could breathe, but it will, is also incredibly hot in here, so he complained on his way back out. I think that's probably what happened. Okay, so we've got an automatic dispenser built to drop any puffler eggs down on the floor, and we've got five days worth of food let's uh let's change our crew to just be plank it is let's get plank coming and turn the interior buildings restrictions off we've got twenty thousand calories ready to go soon as plank turns up we are going to be firing this rocket off to another destination let's change the destination over to blagolia of course we need to set down a specific a specific rocket platform and i don't know which one it was was it the five five one three we'll go and have a look as soon as as soon as plank uh, his name just escaped me for a moment there as soon as plank is ready to get going we will send him off acknowledge the warnings cargo fuel transfer oh in fact it it's now done don't, we don't worry about that let's just get rolling though it does take a disappointing amount of time for this to take off okay so we, we're warming up some of these plastic tiles but down below this large power transformer 600 to 800 degrees man we uh we we may have ever so slightly yeah, we're going to need to move that. We are definitely going to need to move that. We need something else that can soak all of the heat. Over on Blagolia, the place where we're trying to go, we're going to have a look at this rocket platform. 513 indeed. Okay, so that does mean that Plank is on his way. Look look at the seriousness and expression there. That That is a man on a mission. Star map tells us 0.8 cycles. Okay, that, that's pretty good. 0.8 cycles is definitely something I can wait for. That means tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning he will be arriving. How are the gases doing over here? Oh, oh great. Finally, it, that's good. All right, so uh, I'm going to now empty out all of these petroleum bottles. I'm going to leave the gas pump there this time. I'm just, it's its just, it's going to be useful at some point, trust me. Uh, once all these have been opened up and we've got a little bit of a uh, petroleum slick making its way out and down again, uh, we will turn the uh, the power back on. I mean, how long until ooh, our, our 
volcano stops being dormant. In fact, it's not going to be until Plank comes back home. Good job I started redirecting a whole bunch of the petroleum, uh, sorry, the, the crude oil to be made into petroleum back up here. Oh, we have had... Oh, we are getting some pumping going, though. Okay, this is good. This this is very good. This means that I don't really actually need to worry about this being diverted anymore, though I am very much going to leave it being split into two directions. Uh, it's just nice to have a backup. It's very nice to have a backup. Quit checking with Plank. He's just stood there doing nothing. There's no plastic. Oh, I should have sent some plastic across so we could have some more uh, more orbital science being created. But it's not the end of the world, though. It would be the end of the world if he didn't make it all the way over here, though. Uh, also, whilst we're here, let's uh, take a moment to uh, this here being Blagolia, the place that we are sending the rocket to. Uh, egg. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of eggs here, but the ones that I'm in particular looking for are any that come with pufflet. Uh, so none of those. We do have some fry eggs on the go. There's no, mm, there's no pufflet eggs at all. We do have a whole bunch of puffs though, so hopefully one of them will be uh, providing for us at some point. Not sure how these puffs have got stuck in here. We need to try and get them out somehow. With this filter now in place, we're selecting oxygen to be brought out of this uh, hydrogen and oxygen line. Go off towards our uh, rocket to refuel it when it gets there. Uh, on Pyaxlin, actually, uh, I said I was going to move this large power transformer. Bam, done it. Let's uh, also try and make sure there are some... No, that's not what I was trying to click. I don't want the conductive wire. We're not going to make it out of steel, though. No. Oh, what a waste. Indeed going to make it out of iron. All right, great. That's, that's lead. That's not iron. That's, what? Less than 10 seconds to go at the morning of the cycle 1100. Oversee the planetoid. I want to watch this at this rocket land down here. It's the first time that we've actually had this entire system set up, ready to capture the heat of the rocket engine uh, and pass it down into this system. I'm hoping that we'll see the steam turbine. Here we go. Watching the temperature 249, 248. Oh, thank you for going down first. Uh, 250. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. We've got yellow alerts already. I've no idea what that's about. We only went up like one degree. Okay, well, what what went off here? Oh, something over this side. Why would this all break? Oh, <laughs> I know why this all broke. Yes. <laughs> Left this switch turned on. We're no longer refueling the rocket. And then, ah, this is now full. If I turn this all the way up to 150, this should now drain this all out of the pipes, I'm hoping. Yes, indeed. And the rest of the steam will be uh, escaped through the insulated gas pipe here. Mm, not ideal, but it can work. Uh, also, this steam, it did get nice and hot, but it's uh, reduced back down to 250. Indeed, the steam turbine has been siphoning that power off there. Okay, great. The next thing I need to do is to look inside the interior uh, and, wow, lo lots of things suddenly becoming a problem. I will go and check them all out in a moment, but the things that I'm looking for, of course, are all the pufflets. Uh, we're going to turn this all the way up to 9. Uh, not not quite all the way up to uh, full alarm status, but up to 9. There's no deliveries at the moment. I'm a little bit worried that means that Plank's going to be here for a long time. Oh, man, look at this. Just look at this. Have I got no construction errand but something that this, this is saying it really needs to be repaired? I, I thought repairs were construction errands. Oh no! Oh no, we got pressure damage underneath our wall here. Ah, that's really bad. Why Why have we got pressure damage down here? I wonder what material we can build with that would make that a little bit better. Let's also try and get this whole place uh, mopped out. Mm, that's, that's really bad, actually. I need to go look and see if there's, like, some sort of strength table. Okay, I found a small table on Reddit. Thank you very much, you average zombie. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, sedimentary rock, very, very low weight. According to this, it can resist something up to... Oh, I've lost it on the list. Uh, 1,300 of pressure. There's uh, probably actually a little bit less according to these numbers here. But it turns out that if we just try and build it out of something like igneous rock, it suddenly is like near enough twice as, uh, as tough. I'm just a little bit worried that we are going to lose a load of liquid through through the bottom here. That, that could be really bad. That's definitely something I don't want. I have a feeling we are about to witness, yes, a biblical level flood going on across here, but it needs to be done. It needs to be done. Thankfully, I do know how to uh, sort all of the problems that we're going to have out from this. I mean, the mopping is the nice and easy one, but of course, the uh, the more difficult part is how do we... Ooh, 
refill this place back up after all of the water has dropped out. Uh, and that is going to be with a pump, thank for that. That was really bad. I, I knew it was going to be bad, but that was a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. Anyway, we're going to replenish with this little pump down here. Hopefully we're not going to overwhelm the little gulp fish that are in there. Hopefully this will just be another day in the park for them. You'll also notice I've changed my resource overlay on the right hand side here to show me was the moment, the very moment any of the pufflet eggs drop because uh, that's that's what Plank's here for and we're not going to muck around too much. Let's go over and have a look at the uh, the boiler at the moment. Are we are we finally at the point where all the gases are out? Okay, great. Did 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 they actually open up all the petroleum like I asked them to? No, not not yet. Okay, well, I suppose that's fine. Let's put these uh, insulated tiles back in place. And uh, I don't know, I think, I think we're okay for the moment. This could probably sit as it is for now. So I was trying to figure out how long we're gonna have to wait for the next puff egg. And it turns out that I, th well, it turns out that it takes 45 cycles for the wild puffs to go through their reproduction cycle. And of course the first five cycles, they are tiny babies. So 50 cycles, I think. And this puff prince right here is the guy closest to without going over. We got some 55s around, which is a little bit frustrating as I'm sure you can imagine. But this guy seems to be the next one. And that's 17 cycles to wait that that's that's a long time let's see if we can't do something a little bit different if we come into the food and the critter drop off i really feel like critters and food should be separated at some point uh we're going to go with a nine on that one and we're going to come inside the spacefarer module we're going to view the view the interior if i can actually speak we will be anyway uh and i want to try and be able to put one of these down so this automatic dispenser i think that's the one we're going to destroy for ah we've got a gas vent as well maybe that's not the place surely we can rearrange this let's move this gas vent over here have a little bit of extra piping oh not that type of piping this type of piping just over that way of course going over by one is traditional and then we destroy this gas vent and also the gas pipe underneath okay this should now if some Someone comes along to do to do all of these uh, jobs. We should now have room to put down a matching critter drop-off point as soon as I click on the right button uh, to go right here. Now you might be very well wondering what on earth I'm even doing right now. Surely you can't wrangle puffs. How are you supposed to move them? Well, it turns out almost all creatures, if you go ahead and uh, use the the, the critter drop-off here, can be wrangled if the stable that they're in thinks the stable is overcrowded. Uh, so we're just going to put it into the main room and say, hey, this main room should only have one puffed in it. Can you please move all the others and try and get them all in here? Okay, so let's give it a go. We're going to go critters, all or none. I don't mind, but let's uh, mac wrangle the max. Let's go 10 here. Uh, and uh, have we got... Requires learn skill. Do we not have someone who is a critter, uh, a, a wrangler? I prob probably not. Uh, someone with husbandry skills. Let's go to, I mean, Goddard, my friend. We keep uh, filling you up and stripping you down. Now let's go with Swan Leather. You at least have the right hat on. So, so let's let's do both of these. One of these will give you a bit more morale. So I'll take that and then critter ranching as well. Okay, great. Hopefully now, Aaron's low priority. That's fine. We know how to get people working on the priorities. Uh, so Swan Leather should be coming along from over here. Great. We want them to be able. Why is that abyss light on the wrong switch? Okay. Uh, here we go. What are we calling for? Who are we? we calling for it best not be the fish the fish can't get to us now where are they coming from like legitimately where oh is it is it the one i actually want oh please let it be the squeaky puff that will be so great that this is this is the singular creature i want we've even got enough cycles to be able to do yes all right beautiful this 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 is great this this is exactly no it turns out we can't turn the alarm off without swan levitt being no Oh man, now now we're in trouble. No, good. It is the squeaky puff that he did. I thought it was gonna reselect a different target, but no, here we go. That's that's great. Wonderful. With the little bar full up there, we're gonna turn that one down to a nine because I still would do I still want some more puffs? I don't know. Uh, I do, however, want this one to say, hey, squeaky puff, where are you? Here and here. Uh just someone, please, plank, if you could, make the delivery. Okay, let's get this last delivery made over here. And I think with that, Plank is sick of this stinky, polluted, slime-lung-filled rock. 
and he's gonna go back home. Let, let's just do it. We're gonna go with crew. We're gonna change our destination back to Pyaxlin. We've got more than enough fuel to be able to do it. Steam turbine's got a red line on it. What? Why? I don't think it should have a red line on it. Uh, and I, I think we've got everything we need. Uh, let's just begin. Oh, let's look inside and make sure we've got the squeaky puff and we've got uh, plank. Let's indeed start that launch sequence. Uh, I, I'm actually wanting to see what happens to this uh, 249 degree steam underneath. Is it not going? I begin begin the launch sequence. I thought I'd already pressed that, but okay. And away it goes. Two, four, two, five, two, five, two. Okay, it is definitely doing the job that I was hoping that it would. I mean, look at this. It's going up to like 260. Of course, the steam spreading out that temperature across. We're making more steam in the uh, the vacuum of space here, but I don't think it's uh, that much of a trouble. Uh, it's going to condense where we've got some background, but disappear off to the vacuum where we don't. And uh, yeah, star map. Let, let, let's see. How long have we got? 0.8 cycles once again. I mean, makes sense. View the interior. Don't hit abandoned ship. That would have been bad. Squeaky puffed in my toilet. All right, great. And it didn't destroy the room bonuses. Okay, that that that's that's also very very good. Oh no, Pl Plank is complaining about gas content already. I I guess that's fine. Oh no, what is that? Some, something very bad. I was like, I'll just go back and look at Blagolia again. Something very bad has happened. Very very bad has happened. Uh, put the igneous rock across here. Hmm. Did did it bust? I didn't. I didn't see any reason. Did I forget to do that one tile? I don't know. I mean, let's let's just do the same process all over again, shall we? Yeah. Okay, poor Swan Levitt is going to have a couple of roommates for the night. Three three roommates for the night, turns out. I've ripped down a um, I've ripped down the plant pot that we had on this corner here in an effort to uh, actually pick. Oh, I did. We, we already did it. We picked up the fish trap. Okay, that's great. Why why is this drifting over sideways though? Uh, and now hopefully we can just get it dumped back in where it belongs. That that would be ideal. I've also got to put. I've also made a little bit of room up here for another water uh, bottle emptier. If we could just pop that up there and get that jumping. All the uh, the water and polluted water we've just mopped up back. That that would be great. Okay, we got one fish back where it belongs. And I'm hoping this second one will just jump into the trap like right now. Eh, I'm sure it will over time. Uh, Squeaky Puffed and Plank doing well. And over... Oh, no, wrong one. Pie accident is where I want to be. Uh, this is looking good. This is also looking good. We're going to come along to the uh, chlorine pit that we've made here and make another critter drop off. Just like we did in all the other places. That's right. This is where we're going to dump them all off. Uh, and of course, in the stations, we also have the grooming station, which I would really like to have in here. Thank you. Okay, bottle emptier in place. We want water and polluted water. I mean, I, I'm going to put it in a fairly high priority because I know what these guys are like, but I, I don't think we need to worry too much about it. I mean, nine, yeah, we could probably do with moving it a little quicker, but I think we're good for now. Uh, back to the star map. Let's have a look. 71 seconds until Plank comes back over. Let's just wait that out, shall we? Okay, 10 seconds. Here we go. Hopefully we're just going to land back on the, uh, the the launch pad that we took off from. I could redo with it being... Yeah, I, I've not destroyed this yet. Let's, let's get... I, mo I moved the large power transformer, but I did not actually replace it. Hopefully someone's going to come along and rip this down just in time to get fried by the rocket coming down. That wasn't actually my intention, but here we are. I wonder if Curie is going to warm up at all. The ladder around her... 30 degrees. Let's see if anything goes up uh, any more than that. No. No, 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 nothing gained too much temperature there. Okay, cool. Right, so with now the, uh, the the rocket back, let's view the interior. This, of course, now wants to be a zero auto wrangle. And could someone please come along and do that? Ruben, of course, going to be the person to do so. Poor Ruben's going to have so much stuff to do now. And we want you to be this little drop off here, sorry, to be the squeaky puff so that we can uh, drop them all down. Okay, that, that would be... Uh, amazing if that's a thing that can happen for you the interior where's Ruben Ruben come on you're, you're supposed to be here by now surely oh there she was I was just going back outside to have a look but no there, there we go uh, of course gonna call them over and tie them up as per last time now my big question of course is who's gonna be uh, making this delivery let's uh, let's go back to Pyaxlin and find out somewhere down here it's this critter drop off uh, Ruben I mean it's a fairly low priority for her but she she should have done it straight away. Okay. Cut. 
taming the creatures more important than dropping off the creatures? Let's turn up the priority there and make that more of a thing. Okay, Cur Curie is on it. Great. I've lost track of her, though. Okay, Curie has a package on her, I do believe. Anyway, I didn't I didn't watch it happen, but she is going in the right direction. And here we go. This is what we really could do with here. Squeak puff inside all the chlorine. That, that's what we've been working for. And I'm hoping, because it's hungry but happy, we should soon, yeah, see it pick up a whole bunch of chlorine. How long is it going to take for it to uh, digest it, though? I'm not sure. One of the things we might need to do is set Ruben up a small exosuit for coming in and out of here. We're, we're going to watch and see. Okay, so she can do it in a single cycle. It takes for the grooming to happen. As we're groomed, the wildness is going to start going down. Ooh, ooh, did, did it happen? I, I didn't see it happen. I'm really looking for some, some bleach stone. This is the... Oh, here we go. This is the whole purpose of what we've been doing today was producing some of that bleach stone. Amazing. I've lost it as well. Where is it? Oh, picked it up. Put it in the box. Okay, we, we've increased our stores of bleach stone. Ooh, and with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we did a whole bunch of stuff. We've gone around and we've tried to push all the lava from on top here down into the magma chamber. You can see it's actually drained mostly out of here down onto the floor. We, we've melted stuff. Of course we've melted stuff. Is this magma or not? That, that's fine, though, because we don't use this enclosed telescope up here. Uh, we have managed to fill this up just a little bit more. Next time, I will probably be pushing these tiles up into these uh, dead spaces so that we can start moving some of that um, magma up into the channels uh, we have got the got the petroleum boiler up and working again and of course we now have a chlorine room producing a whole bunch of bleach stone just gonna go find out who's who's starving of course they're not every time i go and have a look they've stopped starving but i will see you guys next time when we're going to try and deal with the heating on this pyaxlin area here it's pretty hot it could do with not being so hot so i'll see you then when we're gonna do that Bye.